guys so today i'm going to do a fixed assets under financial statement so most of you you know this chapter as a note number three so i took the question paper of november 2020 so that we go through it so that you will be prepared for your examination okay let's go straight to the question they said uh, we are dealing with the Avengers LTD. Then they say the information related to financial year ended 31 December 2020. Then the required opened one, they said we have to refer to information number B. Then the required, they said we have to calculate the missing amount donated or denoted by I which is Roman figure number one until Roman figure number five. So all this question, it consists of 16 marks. Okay, let's go to information number B. There it is. So information number B, they said, is an incomplete fixed asset note. Then we have a landed building. Then we have a vehicle and also equipment. Then if you check the current value, or is on 1 April 2019. This is the beginning of the year. Then we have our cost price, our accumulated depreciation. Okay, so we are not required to calculate any current value in, in this case. So, however, they are looking for cost price under land and building, which is Roman figure number one. And Roman figure number two, they are looking for depreciation under the Hegel Roman figure number three. They are looking for disposal and remember disposal we have to calculate it at current value okay then the last part which is roman figure number five they are looking for accumulated depreciation okay let's proceed okay then land and building in is the first information they say a building on a separate property was sold at cost okay in other words they, they dispose a land and building at cost price which is given on our fixed assets notes if you check is 850 then they said they at the end of the year we left with nine million six hundred and fifty thousand remember there is no depreciation when we do property land and building uh, and equipment under land and building so a uh, land and building does not depreciate so now we have to get roman figure number one remember the formula said cost plus addition minus disposal it give you cost at the end okay which means in this case we have to do a reverse when we want Roman figure number one. We have to say nine million. We add back what we sold, then we're gonna get what we have at the beginning of of the year. Okay, which means in this case we have to say it. Let me open the blackboard on this side so that I can write. Okay. In this case, we are going to say amount of 950, 9.5 million, 9.650. Then we add back the amount that we sold, which is 850,000. Okay. If you do this on your calculator, it's going to give you a ten million and five hundred thousand. Okay, this is Roman figure number A. Okay, let's go to Roman figure number B and check what was required then we do the calculation okay Roman figure number B they said we have to get the depreciation of vehicle okay 
And remember when we come to the presentation for vehicle, you also have to know that they they purchase a new vehicle which is costing six hundred and twenty five thousand, which was recorded under edition. Okay, let's go to a vehicle information. They said a new vehicle was bought on one January twenty twenty. Then the vehicle are depreciated at twenty percent per annum on cost price. Okay, let's start. Remember, our financial year is starting 1 April 2019 and year end on 31 March 2020. So, which means that we have to do those depreciation separate. Firstly, you start by a new vehicle or you start by old vehicle. Okay, they said it's 20% per annum. And if you check, we purchase a new vehicle on 1 January, which means that it's going to be 1 January, February, and March. It's going to be 3 months. We have to calculate the position for only 3 months. Okay. Let's write it here. The cost price of that vehicle was 650000 Okay. Remember the rate they said we have to multiply by 25 percent by 25 percent but we also have to count those months because it was purchased in one we use it for only three months three over other 12 okay then after this when you calculate it's going to give you 31 thousand two hundred and fifty simple remember we are not done we also have to do what to calculate for the new for the old vehicles okay let's first go back and check the cost of old vehicle remember we are using a cost model which means that we don't have to subtract accumulated okay so it was one million two hundred and eighty one thousand so we didn't sell any of this which means that we use it for the whole year so in this case there's no need for you to calculate what a month okay let's calculate it's going to be one million two hundred and eighty one thousand eighty one thousand Okay, then we multiply by 20%. Okay, if you do this on your calculator, uh, it's giving you 256,200. 250. Okay, I forgot about that. 256,200. Okay, now you have to add all the depreciation for old vehicle and the new one and you add them together. It's the 1250 plus 256,200, then it's gonna give you 287, 287, and 450. So that's your answer for number B. Okay. Now let's go to number C. Roman figure number C. Let's first check what was required. Okay. Number C, they said we have to calculate a disposal at current value. They dispose equipment. Okay. Let's go to equipment information. They said old equipment which was costing 21000 was sold on September 2019. Then the accumulated depreciation was 15,000 on that day. Then they said on 1 April 2019. Okay, they said equipment is depreciated at 15% per annum on the diminution balance method. Okay, let's calculate this one. Okay. 
Now the first question is how are we going to get the accumulated depreciation? Remember, we have to calculate a disposal at what? At carrying value, not at cost price of 21,000. Okay, a 15,000 accumulated depreciation that we have is not enough because it's for 1 April 2019 and it must be for 30 September 2019, which means that we have to calculate accumulated depreciation from April until September. Okay, it's going to be how many months? April. April, May, June, July, August, September is going to be for six months. Okay. So now we have to calculate another depreciation, which we are going to say uh, uh, 21,000 minus 15,000, guys. Why? Because they said it's a diminishing balance method. Okay. Okay, it's going to be 21. Thousand minus fifteen thousand, then we multiply by a fifteen percent. Remember those six months that I count, we also have to multiply by six over twelve. Okay, if you do this on your calculator, you're gonna get. 450 equals to 450 okay now we can add 15,000 with 450 then it's gonna give us 15,000 and 450 okay which means that our current value will be 21,000 minus 15,000 okay. 15,000 150 simple guys simple then you're gonna get your current value of 5550 5550 this is the answer for Roman figure number three we sold equipment at current value of 5550 okay then the last one, guys, the last one, we have to calculate accumulated depreciation at the end of the year. How, how are we going to calculate it? Very simple. Okay, remember, um, we already have accumulated depreciation at the beginning, which we just have to add it with, uh, with what? Accumulated depreciation at the end. Then we also have to subtract accumulated depreciation of what we have sold. Simple. Let me show you this side. Okay. At the beginning, it was 200. Then during the year, 42,000. Okay. Let me show you. It's going to be 200,000. Minus. At the, during the year it was 42,000 42,000 and okay let me change and confirm 4,000 and 450 then remember the one that we calculated of uh, equipment that has been sold it is 15,000 450 okay this one you have to edit okay the reason why we we subtracted the one of 15450 is because we, remember we no longer have that equipment we sold it which means that we can't keep uh, those accumulated depreciation of equipment that we no longer have we have to subtract it we have to take it out okay this one is going to give us 27000 Then, that's the answer for Roman figure number five. Guys, uh, when it comes to fixed assets, please make sure that you get total because it's very simple. 
and very straightforward so guys for the next video i'm going to do the next question which is a uh, ordinary capital and retaining innings please make sure that you subscribe i'm gonna do a balance sheet as well so that you gonna get the principle on how you should do the balance sheet of 34 marks thank you guys for watching i will see you to the next video make sure that you subscribe and get notification bell thank you